Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of uh, <coughs> upgrading to the uh, scythe build. Uh, so I've got some parts here in front of me. I'm only going to do a couple of these parts on the on the scythe. Um, I picked up these off of Amazon. I, I haven't seen them anywhere else. Uh, I don't think I've even been able to find anything on Amazon or on uh, YouTube for them. So I thought I'd get a couple of these and give them a try. So we'll go through the parts that I got and then what we're going to put on the scythe. So my four-wheel steer, steer build, uh, Fury Tech uh, Lizard Pro and Komodo, uh, the regular Komodo with the aluminum uh, motor mount uh, stock uh, transmission and uh, Endura Lynx, Endura skid plate uh, stock axles. And we have the the of course the stock front axles on the front and rear because it's four wheel steer with the uh, avatar radio connected to this uh, for the crawler mixing which is amazing I love that radio highly recommend that radio to anybody that's got a four wheel steer um, possibly even for the new AX24 get the uh, Lizard Pro and the uh, avatar as your ESC I, I think it'll be a good set I don't have the AX24 yet I haven't purchased one yet uh, I do have my own four-wheel steer here. So we're going to do some upgrading. We're going to do overdrive in the front. <coughs> and uh, we are going to put in the CVDs. So this is the, it's called the Ramp Crab. I got these off of Amazon. So this one here is the CVDs. So it's a Ramp Crab uh, Strong Steel CVD fronts. These are the stock they do come in uh, four millimeter plus four millimeter length but these are the stock so because i'm only putting in the front i only got one set i just thought i'd give them a try first uh, the ramp crab so we're going to put that into the scythe uh we'll do a quick show <clears throat> with it running uh, and see the difference i'll put some tape on the tires and everybody has seen that i think a few times with the overdrive uh so we're going to do that so we're going to put the cvds in uh, they're a little different than the RC uh, all-wheel drive ones that I have in my Betty. I think I believe I put those in. These ones are a little bit different, but uh, they look pretty good. And hardened steel, they say, so we'll see how they work out. Then we're going to put the overdrive in, and I've got overdrive uh, differential gear set here at 13 tooth. Hardened steel again, so this is, it just says 124 scale upgrade parts, SEX 24, Bronco, Deadbolt, JLU, B17, Gladiator, C10, so on and so on, and now probably the AX24. Uh, so yeah, so that's the 13 tooth. They are marked. Uh, they got the, the ramp crab marked on them. They don't come with the little rubber uh, washers that sometimes you need to, to stop the play within the differential. And we're just, like I said, we're just going to do the front. Uh, I won't do that on camera. I'll put them in. Uh, I might just uh, do it, uh, record it and speed it up, but uh, we're going to put those in. I also picked up these uh, shocks. These are 39.5 millimeter shocks. I haven't decided what rig I'm going to put these on yet, but I thought I would uh, just pick them up. I think uh, price-wise for these, I think uh, this is all in Canadian, of course. Uh, I think these were $25.99 Canadian. Uh, 15 bucks, I think 15.99 for the overdrive. Uh, 23 bucks for the CVDs. And I have another set of shocks here. So these are 39.5 millimeter shocks. They come with extra springs, two sets. So these ones look really thick, maybe even more, yeah. Those look really thick, those look a little thinner. I think they got the thin ones on there. I don't think they're oil filled. They don't mention that they're oil filled, uh, but they feel really good. They, they seem to be really good. So we'll give those a try on one of the other rigs uh, eventually. And I picked up the internal uh, shock absorbers, the dampers, and these feel really good. <clears throat> Just playing with them in the in the pouch here. Um, I was playing with them when I got them. They, they feel really good compared to the uh, racing ones I put in the Betty. Uh, I might swap them out with these ones and see how they are and see what... I think these are thicker springs here. I think they probably have the thin spring in there, but we'll see. Um, they were... I think they were 25 or 26 bucks also and again that's all Canadian so these are the parts that I've got from Amazon these are the ramp uh, ramp crab uh, they're all over Amazon right now they have 
probably 20, maybe 20 different parts. They got uh, axles, axle casings, they got full axles, complete. They've got uh, uh, steering servo uh, plate. They just have a ton of stuff on Amazon right now. So I thought I'd give it a try because it wasn't too expensive and they looked uh, interesting. So we'll give those a try too. But today for this video, we're going to do the, the overdrive and the CVDs. So in the scythe, we'll do it in the front, of course. Uh, if I like those CVDs, I'll probably get another set, do it in the rear um, for the rear steer. But we're going to try the overdrive and see what it does. So I'll get set up here and uh, tape up the tires, get the radio and a battery in this sucker. And we'll do a little test and see uh, how even they turn. And, what the over and then we'll do another one when we get the overdrive in and do a comparison. So give me a few minutes, guys, and I'll be right back. And I'll get all set up for that. Okay guys, we're back. <clears throat> we got the uh, scythe all wired up and batteried up and ready to go and the radio on. Um, hopefully you guys aren't getting a, a hum from my radio. Uh, sometimes this uh, camera, I'm using the GoPro again. Sorry about the lighting. I'm not sure why I'm getting really bad lighting in here. The, my desk is lit up really good, but when I do a video with my GoPro, it's horrible. I do have my... Uh, uh, Osmo Pocket too, but the, the, I'm still getting used to that radio. So yeah, so anyways, we got the scythe here. We got uh, tape on and just remember, you're going to see a little, like there's a bit of play in, in, in these, right? We all know that. So there's a little bit of play there. But so there she is. <clears throat> this is without overdrive. Uh, four wheel steer. Right now I just have it in two wheel steer. I don't have the four wheel mixing done on the radio. But we'll, uh, this is what it's like without overdrive. which we should be uh, pretty even there, eh? You can kind of see. They both turn at the same uh, same rotation uh, distance at the same time because we do not have overdrive. So they are pretty, are pretty close. Again, we got a little bit of play in the front and rear. Uh, we all have that, but if you stop there, we're, we're pretty much the same. So the rotation of the front and rear axles are the same because there's no overdrive. The, I believe the stock gearing is, is 16 tooth. Um, so they're, they're both stock uh, axles in the front and the rear, and they turn at the same speed. So that, that's what it looks like without overdrive, and we'll have a look at that again when I get the overdrive done, when I get the new gears in. So that'll take me a little bit. I don't want to bore you, bore you guys on camera doing that, but we'll, uh, we'll get that put in, and we will get the, uh, do the uh, CVDs at the same time, and we'll see what the at least what the overdrive does cvds it's it's kind of hard to show you the difference between them but uh, i'm hoping that they're a little bit better and we'll go from there so yeah so bear with me i'll get that done guys and i'll be right back okay so we're back and we've got uh, i thought i'd come back in we've got the knuckles off <clears throat> all i did was i took the knuckles off and just disconnected the steering mechanism, the steering links and everything, and left the servo in. Um, it might pop out on us, hopefully not, when uh, we'll just kind of hold it in there when we take the, the top two screws out of the diff cover, the Enjora diff cover I have on here, the brass black diff cover. Um, so we've got the old uh, dog bone style cups that are uh, stock, they are out. And we just have to pull out the dog bones, of course, which are these bad boys for the front. So we'll get rid of the stock ones. And then we will install the CVDs. So that is this one. Uh, we'll get those done and then we'll go, uh, move on to, uh, to doing the overdrive. Hopefully I can get it done without having to take that servo off because I do have it centered and it's a, you know how it is, it's a pain in the butt. So there's the CVDs, one piece and you get two, two new uh, wheel nuts, but I use the, I've got a, a four millimeter ex, uh, brass extenders on, so we've got the, these to hold our wheels on. Hopefully that they fit, so we're gonna have a gander here. While we've got this open, yeah, they, they're fine. I figured they would be, so yeah. So those will go on just, e just as easy and hopefully they're about the same yeah they're they're definitely the stock so those are exactly the same length i don't know if you guys can see that i should be using my other camera for this because it does zoom in better so there 
we got the same same thread it looks like size and everything so we'll put these in and they are marked on there too they've got the nice even though you won't see it they've they've taken the time to mark all their stuff so that's that's really good so maybe this isn't too bad a quality cvd seems to be pretty good so we'll get that get these installed again it's just simple you just put her back in make sure it locks in just like so I, you can feel it go into the worm gear um you know what we're gonna have to take those out to do the to do the overdrive so i'm doing this backwards so instead of doing that right away we will get into the diff and we will get the overdrive done so i'll get the diff cover off yeah, I should have thought of that. I'm not thinking today. I uh, should have thought. I'll, I'll, should have thought of that. I'll take this off first, and we'll get in. We'll do the overdrive, get that set in there, and then we can do the uh, the CVDs. I'll be right back. Just give me a sec, guys. Hey guys. Okay, so we're back. We got the diff cover off. Uh, I disconnected the drive shaft. I have metal drive shafts on here. Uh, I think they're the Endura drive shafts. Um, the Gladiator. I have the Gladiator links on this front and rear, so it's a Gladiator wheelbase. Uh, so you disconnect, <coughs> so you can get the worm gear out. So and the, of course the bearings came out. One on the back of the diff cover here. There's a little bit of grease in there from when I put this together. I did go in and, and grease it up a little bit, so that's not a bad thing. So you'll be able to just pull the, the the worm gear out and the gear out like so and don't forget you got a bearing on the back there and on this one there is rubber washers so I know you guys are not going to be able to see them so we're going to take that bearing off if she'll come off there there we go <coughs> so there's pardon me there's the bearing and then there's a little rubber washer on here. They're clear. They're not black. So we're going to grab the new worm gear. And we're going to just compare that to see if I need to, to reuse those. So let's have a gander here. We'll get this opened up. And uh, we'll see what we got. So we'll just take the worm gear out first. Okay, so there's the new one. There's the old one, and they are pretty much, oh yeah, they're identical, identical size anyways. So maybe that out shaft is just a little bit longer. Might not be because like I'm looking at it with the rubber washer on there. So I think I'll put those washers back on there, and then we'll put the drive shaft on and we'll see. So what those little rubber washers do is stop that forward and back play uh, um, in the uh, in the the axle housing it stops that gear from going forward and back too much so we're going to take those off hopefully without wrecking them so we'll get the old tweezers out and not lose them they are small so there i don't know if you guys can see that it's just sitting on there yeah you can see it a little bit there so there's those little round clear these ones are freaking clear so they're hard to see and there's one on each side I've seen some that I've taken apart that only had one. This one has both, so they're off. We'll get rid of the old gears, just get them out of the way. And we'll put these on. Really greasy here from the other one. So there, so there it is on there. Hopefully you guys can see that. We've got that little uh, rubber washer on the end there. And we'll put the other one, which is right here. I don't know if you guys can even see that because they're they're clear they're translucent I can't even pick the damn thing up they're very translucent so I don't know if you guys can see that on there I think you can very translucent very small so just be careful uh, when you're taking those off that you if you don't these didn't come with it I've seen like the trail ones they come with it I think the Endura ones send you a set too these did not so take the ones we have and they're fine they're not damaged in any way and we'll put them on the new one a little bit of goddamn cat hair in there of course so yeah and it's marked right there 13 tooth that's what this worm gear matches up to all right so that's simple then we put the 
um, bearing back on there so we don't forget that so now we got the bearing on and that'll just fit right back in there I'm sure you guys have done this all before yourselves or you've seen it done before but we might as well just do it now the fun part is now that we got the CVDs out which I was gonna do first which made absolutely no sense cuz it's just one of them days for me your your gear is angled it's got a little bit of a, a downward angle to it and you want that downward angle the high point I don't know if you guys can tell that so you want the high point going to the left if you're looking at the front of your truck so that it mat marries up with your uh, worm gear really good okay so we'll just make sure of that when we get the new one which is where which is right here we'll get that out and we'll uh, put some grease in there once we get the bearings in because this is the fun part is getting the getting all the bearings lined up Oh, my screen just went black on me there it's giving me more light down here but yeah I'm really sorry about the light so that'll fit right in here and you make sure that you've got your your gearing different but you can tell there's a lot less I can tell that that's a 13 and you can see the difference there hopefully you guys can see the difference all right these are a lot closer together these are a little wider space because there's less teeth on that than this one which is your overdrive right so this will allow your front to turn uh, a little faster than your rear to help you get up the hills and keep the front end planted a bit better so hopefully this is going to be good and and improve the uh, the build so you've got two bearings that need to go right alongside this gear so i think what i will do is we will get the gear well make sure we got the gear the right way the gear kind of goes in there then we take our bearings slide them in beside oh i just dropped that one that's not good that's not good i don't know if i have any spare bearings anywhere so i might have to go off camera here for a second to find that bearing guys and you slide that in there like so uh, just let me check my tickle trunk to see if I have any more bearings. I don't think I do. I might have to go uh, onto the carpet floor digging for a bearing or we're in trouble because I don't think I have any spare bearings. I do not. Oh boy. Okay, bear with me a sec. I got to find that bearing. I'll be right back. Okay, I got that bearing. Didn't take me long. It was right at my feet, thank God, because I got carpet in this room. I've been really meaning to put down some type of flooring uh, underneath me here, but this uh, Cal Racing the, uh, mat is awesome as long as you work over it. And then it catches all your screws. And if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend it. I just got the small one for doing my little builds like this. The bigger ones I am not too worried about. I'll find the screws. But So there we go. So now you got the bearings in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'll bring it a little closer. Your, your worm gear is in. And there will be another uh, bearing against that, which is in your, your diff cover. And now we can put the CVDs through and get them situated in that gear. Uh, if we can, we got to get it lined up. Oop, there goes the worm gear. So that, that is in. And we'll do this CVD. I wasn't going to do this on camera, but might as well, eh? And we got them in. So there, see the gear is moving now. They're both all the way in. And then we will put that worm gear back in. The bearing stayed inside. And there's another damn cat hair on there. Yeah, uh, we all know what it's like to have pets. So we got to get that sucker back in there. Hopefully we can gear it in by turning the... There we go. There, she's back in there. So there we go. So that's all in. Nice tight. And we're going to get the old utter butter out. I use utter butter, which is uh, a waterproof grease. You can use marine grease. I highly recommend that in case you get any water in there at any point in time. I don't plan on putting this into water, so but you don't need a whole lot of this stuff. I didn't put much in, but we're going to put a little bit in. And I got it in this nice um, tube here. It's like a syringe tube. 
so we'll put some on the gears here doesn't need much like I don't think we need to put a whole lot in there I didn't put a whole lot in the last time hey just get that gear somewhat with some grease on it and clean it up a bit so there's that I'll put a little bit more so when it turns it'll get up in there a bit more so we'll just do a little bit more like that <clears throat> there you go we got the utter butter on and then we'll get her uh, button back up of course because the servos out and everything I got to get buttoned up so once I get it buttoned up guys I'll come back and we'll get the wheels back on her and stuff and then we'll do that CVD test so that that's pretty easy to change out that overdrive um, not too hard just make sure when you put your drive shaft back on that you got it phased correctly and I mine didn't come out so I didn't pull it out of the uh, of the shaft there so I should be good uh, we'll get that all buttoned back up and then we'll come back and we'll do another uh, test on the stand to see if that overdrive is going to make a difference. And I'm sure those CVDs will help out too. So we'll get that done and I'll be right back and we'll button up this video. Cheers. Okay guys, we're back. We got her all buttoned up, all put back together. Everything is in place. I had to bugger around with the servo a little bit. Uh, for some reason it was out, but <clears throat> we got her all back up. And we got it plugged in, we got power to it. So now we will do the big test on that overdrive. Again, we went from stock, which I believe is 16 tooth, down to a 13 tooth uh, overdrive. And we will give it a go here and we will see what it does. So let's see the difference. We looked at it uh, earlier in the video and we saw that it was the rotation was pretty even. Uh, and we'll give it a go here and we will see what it does. So there you can go have a look at that right there. So it's about a quarter of a turn more. So that means the front is moving quicker than the rear now and that is what we were hoping to achieve. So with that overdrive, there's, look at that. So that's, that's more than a quarter now. And as we rotate, there there's the second or third third time around probably and we're almost a, a full rotation more so that's exactly what I wanted I was hoping to get the right and I the right overdrive I think that's the right overdrive there they line back up there they're a quarter there they're quite a bit difference there maybe a quarter so yeah so definitely a difference love that fear tech love to see that so yeah definitely going to make a difference so there we go guys that is the amazon ramp crab again i will show you that that's the ramp crab uh overdrive 13 tooth hardened steel and we put the cvds in i don't seem to have any where's my radio any issues with the steering uh turned they look like they're good so now we got cvds in the front we will probably give this a, a, some testing. I'm probably sitting on the drive shaft there a little bit. She's got a bit of a whine to her, but so that's the Fury Tech Komodo in there on the Avatar again, guys. The Avatar. I highly recommend this radio to anybody. This is an amazing radio. It is uh, pretty close to the same as the uh, Enduros. It's same body, same everything. And let me grab it for you. I've got one. So another good radio. So there they are. They look identical. The difference being is the electronics that uh, Fury Tech has put in the Avatar. Oh, for some reason it wants me to shut down. I must have hit the button. <clears throat> there we go. So yeah, so there's your you can see that it's got telemetry live showing you the rpms 498k 504 shows your throttle on this going high so we're full throttle we're sitting at about 1260 72 between 66 and 72 rpm it'll go in reverse and your steering will turn you'll see it on the avatar so it's like telemetry it's live it shows you it's awesome 
and it's a three channel radio by the way but they're identical so that's the one for my uh, ecto my enduro 24 ecto that i uh, did a video on uh, the last video i did so yeah so there it is guys that is the rampart pieces in and we have the shocks that we will do later on in another video um i'm, I'm liking the difference and we're going to see how it works when we get it out on the rocks or on my indoor course here that i'm still working on uh, slowly but surely I'm getting it done started to do some painting on it didn't like the darkness of it right off the get-go so I have picked up a little bit lighter of a gray I'm going to try and play with that here sometime hopefully in the next day or two but yeah so thanks for watching guys and hopefully this helps you out and gives you an idea what this uh, this ramp crab uh, pieces and parts for the SX24 are on Amazon um, I, I get a lot of parts off Amazon that's where I get all my enduro stuff uh, just cheaper for me here in Canada instead of ordering direct and paying the uh, exchange rate and all that fun stuff so whatever I can find on as Amazon I get it but I thought I'd give this ramp ramp crab stuff a try because there's quite a few parts uh, they're listing on Amazon now like I said 20 25 parts so I will be getting some more from them some different pieces from them for sure maybe their uh, their axles and and uh, just the axle casing and the the complete axles maybe give those a try uh, in the future but yeah so hopefully this helps you guys out uh, when you're doing your your uh, builds and, and changing out to the overdrive and you can see the difference i know there's a lot of videos out there for it but i wanted to do this uh, ramp crab stuff with you and show you what the uh, overdrive i put in and and onto my scythe build here and see how it worked out so anyways thanks for watching and thanks for all the subscribers and new subscribers i hit uh, 750 this week uh, for some reason this week I got a lot. Maybe it was my last video of the Endura Ecto unboxing. Uh, I'm not 100% not sure, but uh, I gained probably eight this past week, week and a bit. So thanks very much to all those new subscribers and all of you that keep coming back and staying with me. And uh, everybody stay safe, and we'll see you at the next one. Cheers.